<laughs> Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to the first episode of our complete loot overhaul patch farming. This is a community patch brought out for us um, very nicely by uh, Raven Jim who is, uh, made a Reddit post um, about this uh, little community patch that he has done. Um, I think he works collaborates alongside um, Shadow Evil who did the uh, Borderlands 2 community patches. Um, and uh, according to him, there will be maybe a, a big community patch soon from Shadow Evil. Um, now this is awesome, I, I will say straight away, this has been needed for a long time and I'm so glad uh, Raven Jim has worked on this. Um, it's not um, completely done, uh, this is just a, uh, I assume this is just a temporary um, addition and change to drop rates and things like that um, while they work on a, a much bigger and better one. Um, but it does solve massively the problem of uh, unfarmable um, legendary and unique items in the game, um, which has always been a big thing, always been a big problem from the pre-sequel. So things that he's working on um, are obviously uh, using hotfix data to, uh, to change drops on things that don't normally drop things, adding drops to them, things like that. It's going to get much broader, much better. Uh, but for now, there is a list of uh, different things um, that can be, um, can be done. Um, I have actually got a, uh, a little thing here let me just change this um, there you go um, so this is basically the list as you can see right here um, you can see I've made a little uh, thing that just tells you all the drops and stuff like that that is what these series of videos are going to be I'm going to be farming these so before we get on with the farming I'm not going to go into this much detail on every video but because this is the first one I'm just going to go into uh, uh, a little bit obviously this explanation that I've just done now um, and stuff like that so uh, yeah basically um, this can be downloaded, links will be in the description to all of the available things you need to know about um, how to get this patch for PC and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So today we are starting off in the Lunar Launching Station um, with the guy um, which we were about to farm called um, the Lost Legion Power Suit Noob. Um, can you see him from here? No, he's not yet spawned in. He spawns in just there anyway. Um, now originally he dropped the Shooting Star Shield. Um, but now, um, the Major Tom has been added to his loot pool. So, uh, just like with the Borderlands 2 community patches, anything that's changed with regards to drops and stuff like that, we will be farming. Um, so, we'll be getting them. So, it doesn't matter today if we get a shooting star to drop. We have got to keep going until we get the um, Major Tom 2 drops. So, I'm just going to farm the, uh, the Lost Legion Power Suit noob until that happens. Um, can we see your face, mate? I want to get some uh, critical shots in. There we go. Um, I wish you dropped some moonstones as well. I'm pretty sure the community... Um, actually, I want to get ammo. I'm pretty sure the patch is executed. But I want to make sure that I've definitely got this. Um, so if you could drop a moonstone just to check. Because now moonstones automatically pick up. Just like the change with Iridium um, in the Borderlands 2 community patch. Which is pretty sweet. Because it's annoying going through all the Iridium... Um, in Borderlands 2 and the Moonstones in the pre-sequel. Now they'll just automatically pick up like money and ammo does. Um, anyway, so, wow, I'm going to die here. Let's get that on the go, just in case I do. There we go. See if we can get someone up. I might want to uh, actually kill a few of these guys. There, let's just get back up and go and farm the Power Suit Noob. Have I got a grenade? I have. But he's dropped down there. Wow, this one's a bit of a disaster run. Don't worry, my Digijacks will get me back up hopefully there we go oh he has dropped a moonstone and that looks like the major tom wow what an awesome start i was going to say just like um in the community patch for Baldwin's 2 farming that i did um i will go for about 10 minutes or so and then um oh god don't go down i will go for about 10 minutes or so and then um if i don't get it to drop i'll just keep going um, by myself farming it until we actually get it to drop, but we don't need two. Two runs today for the Major Tom. Um, and I need to go and pick that up, so let's see if we can drop anything here. I didn't think I had that full of a uh, an inventory, to be honest. Um, I'll never drop the T4SRs. What could I drop? Um, yeah, let's just drop that, screw it. There you go, the Major Tom. Oh, I'm still full. How am I still full? 
How, how, how am I still full? The Shield of Ages. Rerouter. I want that Oz kit. Let's go for Nasty Surprise. Wow, we are really, really over, aren't we here? Okay. Let's see what we don't want then. Don't want that. This is a tough decision. Don't use the revolutions. They can go away. Um, and you. Mongob, you're crap. Sledge is shot eight. Don't use any of you. Look at all that orange. But we do use the Mage Tom. So, let's pick it up. And uh, give it a little try out, shall we? The Major Tom. There you go, guys. It is now farmable. It's not a very good weapon, I will admit. But let's go ahead and see if we can get it to work. Yes, here we go. Uh, there's been a few changes as well. Certain buffs and power increases and debuffs. Stuff like that. So uh, you will notice the game might be a bit balanced. It might be a bit more OP than it should be. That is what these community patches are all about testing them out, giving the uh, the developers, the guys, feedback um, for them to bring more patches out and changes. You never know, they might bring a patch out. Everyone say, well, that's made it well too overpowered now. We, it's just too easy. So they'll bring another patch out and, uh, you know, nerf it and say, right, okay, fair enough. We'll, uh, we'll just tweak it a little bit. So if you do get this patch, make sure you go ahead and... Um, give um, him some feedback I'm sure he'd love to uh, to hear stuff if you want any suggestions on different drops and buffs and stuff like that um, I'm dying here so let's take the cowards way out and do that and uh, yeah that's that's how these things go so uh, I'm really really excited about this hopefully um, the guys work more on these because the pre-sequel was made let's do a few more farms see if we can get the shooting star to to appear while we're here we'll go for about three four more minutes um, <coughs> But yeah, hopefully the guys work more on this, manage to get around the uh, the hotfix problem and um, get it working so they can add whatever they like into it. There's so much on the pre-sequel that could, they can do um, because it was so bad originally with drops and stuff like that. Another good thing about it as well that I like is the fact that it could bring more people back to the pre-sequel because end-game farming and just generally stuff to do once you complete the game... <coughs> is absolutely crap in the pre-sequel. I'm surprised I've kept going for so long. Uh, many people just didn't not give it a chance. I, I can see why people didn't play it or people left very quickly. Um, but with these changes and additions, hopefully they'll think, do you know what, I might have um, I might have left back then because it was rubbish, but it's, it's a lot more improved now. So uh, let's go ahead and um, you know give it a chance again and play it again. It could get more people playing this. Give people stuff to do until um, ow. Because they give people stuff to do until um, Borderlands 3 maybe comes out. Now I can't. How did I get up then? Did my Digi Jacks help me out? I think they might have done. Right. Just because I went down, you're going to die. Thank you. I love this doppelganger Deputy Jack setup. It's very, very powerful. Right. What should we say? Two more runs. I think two more runs. See if we can get his other drop, the shooting star. If not. Job's done today. We managed to get this little bad boy. And it's now farmable again, which is, well, I'll say again, it's now farmable for the first time. So, uh, absolutely fantastic. If you watch my hunt videos, um, you'll know, especially uh, very lately, um, there is a lot of any loot source legendaries, and that needs to change. So, this is absolutely brilliant for that. I don't know what grenade I had on them, but it absolutely wrecked me. Have I got a bonus package on, maybe? Probably won't do that again. Oh, I thought he was dead. He's not. Now he is. Just a green. Okay. Final run then. Final chance to see the awesome Major Tom or Shooting Star Shield. I can't believe I just called the Major Tom awesome. It's not bad. It's not awesome. The Shooting Star is a brilliant, brilliant shield though. So, uh... If you haven't yet farmed this guy for the shooting star and you are playing the pre-sequel, get your asses over here and get it because it's awesome. I'm just going to end up going down here, aren't I? Yep, there you go. Just after I killed them both. Right, I can bring my jacks out there. That's good. Right, let's just run past them. Straight onto the power suit noob. Fire, 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 fire. 
Oh dear, well, no, um, no shooting star for us today, but we came what we, uh, we got what we came for, which was the Major Tom, so, yeah, there you go guys, that is, uh, the first episode of Community Patch Farming, um, for the pre-sequel, I'm gonna, well, it's called the Complete Loot Overhaul Patch, um, well, I, that's what it says on the thing, so that's what I'm calling it, so, if you wanna get yourself the Complete Loot Overhaul Patch, just remember, Everything's in the description that you need to know. My original video covering it. Um, the post, the link to Raven Jim's um, post on Reddit. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, I need to clear my throat. And um, Shadow Evil's um, guide on how to install the Baldlands 2 one. You do exactly the same for the pre sequel one. Um, so, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really hope you enjoyed another episode. Um, next episode we might go to, where do we want to go? Should we go to the Tiny Destroyer? I think we'll go for the Tiny Destroyer because um, they now drop the Shreddy Fire. So yeah, be sure to look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching, really hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.